What's going on guys? How are you people? Today I'm going to be explaining and breaking down all the abilities of the brand new Scorcher Wonder Weapon within Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, as well as explaining to you how it works because it's very important to understand that since it's such a big and kind of slow Wonder Weapon to run around with, you need to understand how everything works. So right off the bat, I do want to say that it is slightly similar to the DIE from D-Machina, which people expected, but it is not really too much the same Wonder Weapon. It's not just a reskin. It is its own unique Wonder Weapon. And I will also say that as you can see in the gameplay, it is pretty dang powerful. I've tested out kills in the Xfil zone or in the tier two zone while trying to Xfil. I've tested out killing zombies in the tier three zone with the wonder weapon. And this wonder weapon did do a pretty good job in every single area. But I will say that if you are in the tier three red zone, that you do need this weapon tier three pack a punched. It is really not great at all unless it's tier three pack a punched in the tier three zone. Even then, I don't even know if we can say it's the best wonder weapon in the game in terms of just the damage output when you're shooting it. But like I said, when you factor in the transportation and the mobility, ability of the wonder weapon then obviously it is easily the best and most overpowered weapon in the game now one of the biggest issues with this wonder weapon at this point in time is that it is a bit slow all around whether you're trying to blast away to another area or whether you're trying to actually shoot the zombies the weapon is a bit slow and when you have a tier 3 red zone area with super sprinting zombies and zombies that hit for more damage i don't really know if it's the best idea to use this weapon even though it does have an escape route going in with something like an ar or even a ray gun or a wonder off will probably benefit you a little bit more because even if it does kill less zombies those weapons have significantly better mobility when it comes to literally just running around with the weapon and shooting the weapons while running what i will also say and hopefully you'll see here in the gameplay is that this weapon is not great at close quarters now there are different shots you can use with it there's a charge shot and a single tap shot kind of and i'll explain how to do both of those but if you're going to be fighting in close quarters it's probably a better idea to have another weapon out like a shotgun and have have this as your secondary weapon if you have to really clear a large horde of zombies that's what this wonder weapon does best if you're training maybe you're going to be exfilling having this weapon with you is the ultimate weapon because you just charge it up and shoot into a horde and it will kill every single zombie it is so dang good now real quick one more last thing before we get into how the wonder weapon actually works in terms of what buttons you got to press and what you have to do to activate certain modes it is an infinite ammo wonder weapon meaning after you shoot a charge shot or whatever kind of shot you do or if you fly in the air, it regenerates its ammo almost instantly. And that is frigging awesome. I also do want to say that there is a chance that in the future, Treyarch speeds up the animation speed. I believe if they increase it by 1.25x, that this weapon would be perfect. And also what they could do is increase its reload and everything with speed cola, all the movements and stuff like that. That would also be perfect. And that I believe is a very, very possible possibility. But like I said, we'll have to wait and see at this point in time, whether it's tier three pack a punch or not, whether you have have speed cola or not it is a bit slow to use this wonder weapon which is its main drawback okay so now you're asking joe how do i use this dang thing well you can get it from the mystery box or you can get it from doing challenges around the map so if you go to a stronghold which i have a video on my channel talking all about mercenary strongholds or if you go to the ether nest or any of the places on your tack map which i have another video coming up for you guys about the tack map explaining everything and breaking it all down check out all the elite guides on my channel the link down below in the description also follow over on twitter at twitch.tv slash showman123. I stream zombies there every single day. But yeah, anyways, moving back into it. If you want to fly with this wonder weapon, all you have to do is if you're on controller, hold down your left trigger. So that means your aim down sights button. That's the button you're going to want to hold down and it will shoot you into the air. When you do this ability that shoots you into the air, I have two things to let you know. One is that it takes five bullets out of your ammo stack, but it's almost irrelevant that it does this because by the time you even get all the way in the air, the ammo on the wonder weapon recharges. So you're good to go anyways it doesn't matter now the next thing is is i'd recommend looking in the direction you want to go at first i was initially like turning backwards and then spinning around but no if you just look forward in the direction you want to go in the wonder weapon will point at the ground when you hold down that button that i said the left trigger the aim down sights button and it will shoot you off straight into the air and then you have to deploy your parachute and you can fly wherever the heck you want to go and you can obviously do this over and over and over again so it's not a read portal but it's fr pretty friggin' awesome considering this is just a weapon deploying you into the air now moving forward like i said there are two firing modes on this weapon there's a charge shot which all you have to do is simply hold down the trigger to activate this one and this charge shot takes five bullets of ammo from the weapon it's the same exact thing as the flying mode when you go to fly it'll take five bullets away and when you shoot a charge shot it'll take five bullets away now this next ability and the charge shot is really great at clearing out huge hordes of zombies by the way but this next ability the single shot ability although it doesn't do as much damage as this charge 
hard shot. If you need to get a quick shot out that still packs a pretty good punch, all you have to do is spam the trigger on the wonder weapon. So repeatedly spam the trigger a couple of times and it'll shoot out one single fire bullet that'll take away one bullet from your stack, which again, how much ammo it actually uses, it uses is irrelevant because the weapon recharges ammo for you. Now, I also do want to say that I think this could potentially even be a glitch with the wonder weapon. I don't know why, but it seems weird that you can shoot a single shot of this weapon considering everything else about it and how slow it is. Although it's very powerful, it's balanced out by the slowness. So as for now, you can spam your trigger to shoot a single charge shot, but in the future, if it doesn't work, keep in mind that I believe this could potentially be a glitch. So take advantage of it right now as you can. I also do want to say that I tested it out to see if it revives other people in your game and it does not. So to sum it up, there is a purpose to get this wonder weapon. If you want a wonder weapon that'll clear out huge hordes of zombies, this is the one for you. If you want a wonder weapon that's going to be quick, this is not really the one for you. If you're planning to go around the map and do tons of contracts and challenges and maybe even be the medic in the map, this wonder weapon is your bread and butter. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you drop a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe for more Elite COD Zombies content and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.